Hey, this is Brother Barnes, and I want to talk about a war carrier build for Galactic Starfighter. I played a number of Galactic Starfighter games, and then I went to the fleet, and I picked up the Introduction to Starfighter quest, and now I have picked up 25,000 fleet requisitions. So, Star Wars The Old Republic is very liberal with the amount of initial credits they give a person to build a, a custom fleet. And my favorite is uh, the War Carrier, and I also love Scout. I think that this video is just going to be on War Carrier because it'll take me a few minutes to get through it. I have researched it in a lot of different sources, and this seems to work pretty well. There may be a, a different build that would be good, but I'm just going to share with you what works well for me. I played on another tune the other day, and I got the top number of medals, 16 medals. I think the closest person to me was 12 medals in a Galactic Starfighter with a very minimally equipped war carrier. Here we go. Let's cash this in and we're going to go to inventory and also activate it. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to go click on uh, Galactic Starfighter. Now, I like uh, the Scout, I like War Carrier, and I like Star uh, Strike Fighter. So I'm going to ditch these other slots, and I'm going to fill this leftmost slot with War Carrier here in just a moment. So notice that I've got some plate requisition. I've actually got more than 25,000. That's because I've already played a few, a few matches, and I played with Scout. So... Uh, for War Carrier, I'm going to go down to Bomber. I'm going to pick War Carrier 3,000 credits out of that. And uh, you, like me, might be thinking, man, this is a lot to spend. But uh, I have a lot of fun with this. And basically, it's a, it's a clicking fighter bomber. It does not require a lot of skill to play. And I'm kind of that way. I am maybe an average Star Wars Ill Republic player at best. So here we go. First thing I do is I pick out the crew. For co-pilot, I love B3G9. I, that, that doesn't require any, any payment. Uh, that automatically picks him for offensive. For defensive, I like Doc. And maybe later I'll come back and talk about why these are good decisions. For tactical, I like Alara Dorn. Alara, and then for uh, engineering, I like Risha. So that's kind of my start out crew. And you have to make sure you click these because if you don't, it won't always enable them. Everything looks good here. So for components, I love, 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 love the heavy laser cannon because that will really push my max range out. And that's important because if, if a fighter's coming at you and you have a, a, a long range, then you can start shooting at them before they get to you and have the potential of taking them out. So I go with heavy laser cannon. Secondary weapons, I absolutely love seeker mines. And what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to use my requisition to max these seeker mines out, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. I like the regular missile sentry drone because it just constantly does damage. It's not like one of the other ones that uh, one can pick railgun, which kind of is a acts like a capacitor where you have to build up a charge that, to then discharge. I don't really like that. For shields, I like, I'm sorry, repair drone. Yes, that's good. And I'm going to show you some things that are helpful in just a minute on a repair drone, especially uh, drone refills. <clears throat> For engines, shield power converter, that's good. For armor, I want reinforced armor. And that's going to add 4% uh, of armor every time I fill one of those slots. For magazine, I like regeneration extender. And 8% power regenerate. Okay, good deal. For reactor, I like regeneration reactor. Gives me a quicker regeneration rate, I think. Eight, that power capacity. Yeah, this boosts two different features. And then for sensors, I like the uh, the long range, the, the additional sensor range. That's what I like. 
Now, let's go back and fill out some of these uh, key elements. I've got heavy laser cannon, seeker mines, missile sentry, repair, shield power, armor, regeneration, large reactor, uh, rain sensors. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to spend a lot of creds, a lot of this free fleet requisition to probably max out uh, my seeker mines. So uh, the first amount I'm going to spend is to extend the time, mine lifespan, I'm going to do that, mine detonation damage, I'm going to increase that, yes, down to 12,000 right now. I like the increases the speed of seeker mines by 100%. Woo! Now, this last feature that I want for uh, reloads, I'm sorry, the number of seeker mines that can be active at one time is increased by one. I'm going to pick that pretty soon. That, that will take all the rest of my requisition, and I don't want to do that right now. I would like to go to repair drone, though. I would like to put some creds into that. Uh, drone lifespan and drone hull strength, yes. And then here is something that will really help your team. Drone refills 25% of the ammunition reserves of nearby al allies every se three seconds. So with War Carrier, you can get uh, nice damage, you can get hills, and you can get refills. And that does not leave me with very much more uh, when I go to scout, I'm probably going to get the EMP with that. I've just about spent all my requisition on War Carrier, but this is a great place to start. Every time you play, you'll get the ability to start adding a little bit. Of, I actually have enough to make blaster damage uh, increase by 5%, but I, I want to save a little bit so that I can uh, out, outfit my... Scout, and I actually think I have some ship requisition on my scout already because I played some games uh, to get to this point. So that's my War Carrier build, and uh, this is Brother Barnes. I am working on a telekinetic sage, Jedi sage right now, and this is just one of the things that I like to do in Star Wars The Old Republic. Play Galactic Starfighter. Keep coming back.